is so excited because quite a few of you I'm meeting for the very first time. You know, it's five more months of uh, tough slogging before we can enjoy the privilege of making Toronto work again, of getting Toronto back on track. And I know that on countless occasions, by phone and by email and by other forms of social marketing that are well beyond my grasp, we will be asking you to lend a hand. And I just want to encourage you to continue to say yes in the way that you have so far. Because the task at hand is a huge one because the city is big. And the circumstances for the city are so crucial that we are obligated to do all that we can to bring all of the energy that we have. Our ideas and our vision, our experience and our passion and love for the city of Toronto must come to the fore and must shine through every single day. For my part, I'm just so excited by the place that we're at in this campaign. Recognizing that on Friday, May the 28th, this Friday, we will pull off, under the rules that we're operating, the largest municipal fundraiser that I know of, certainly in the history of the province of Ontario. But it is also, I think, a uh, testimony to the level of support that our campaign has. That we were able to undertake such an ambitious event and receive such an overwhelming degree of support is flattering, is humbling, and is such a sign of encouragement because the hard work is yet to come. But I want to give you a glimpse that on uh, a glimpse about what you will see on Friday, because when I decided to undertake this campaign, when I decided to give up the privileged opportunities that I had working alongside Premier McGinty, it's because I was so motivated by the desire to get Toronto back on track, to make Toronto work again. And on Friday, we will bring forward a policy that is about transit and transportation, but at the heart of it, it is about ambition. It is about saying that it is no longer acceptable that leadership in Toronto should bury their head in the sand and pretend that it's okay that we're stuck in gridlock, that we're falling further behind, that families can't get home in time to be able to do the things that families need to do. And I'm not somebody that accepts for a second that Toronto should be a place defined by mediocrity. And on Friday we will lay down our marker that says that it is our obligation to make Toronto work again and that it will be our full energy.